PSMA imaging is a, in essence, a molecular imaging technique where we find ways to image the presence of this molecule on tumor cells. The molecule is PSMA or prostate-specific membrane antigen. The idea is to label it in a way that it lights up on imaging so that we can distinguish tissue that has PSMA expressed on it from tissue that doesn't. And that scan is the most sensitive way to find prostate cancer in the world right now. You can find any prostate cancer, almost any prostate cancer, if it's bigger than a BB in size. And so if we put an imaging agent on there uh, and, and, and image the patient after that, we can see very sensitively and very specifically where there are sites of prostate cancer. Is it limited to the prostate? Uh, is it in the bone? Is it in the lymph nodes? Uh, and that gives us uh, the ability to design a treatment approach for that specific patient depending on, on his, his specific circumstances. So one way to think about it is uh, if you're in a room and uh, you try to find a match in a room with the lights on, you can't find it because the room is very large and the match is small. But if you turn the lights out and light up the match, it's very easy to find that match. So the idea here is that we are going to find a way to light your cancer so it lights up on an imaging technique so that compared to the rest of the room or the rest of the body, we know exactly where it is. Why is imaging important in prostate cancer? We know they have cancer that's growing because we can measure in their blood, right? We have something called a PSA the PSA starts rising, we know you have recurrent cancer. The problem really is we don't know where it is. And without knowing where your cancer is, we don't know how to treat it. We can't do surgery, we can't do external beam radiation therapy, and we're in the dark. And when you don't know where it is, you end up getting systemic therapies, which oftentimes have a lot of associated toxicities. The Prostate Cancer Foundation focuses on things that will impact patients, and that's their driving force. And they collaborate with companies, with academia, uh, with researchers, with private organizations to try to enact things that they believe will cause a change in the way patients are treated. And I think that's really a unique thing about the Prostate Cancer Foundation.